I try my utmost to bring you content every day about news out there. I usually find that we're being absolutely swamped with a particular kind of news at the moment that they want us to concentrate on while they shuffle things under the carpet through the back door. Through the back passage is quite a usual tactic of the media. Somebody said to me the other day, they said, you're talking about everything and everything, but you're not mentioning Mr. Frost, Lord Frost. Well, the simple reason for that was I wanted to wait for a little while and see what happened, see what the news came up with, and then I could talk about it. Well, now's the time. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Monday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad myself. I uh, hope you're having a good day and all your Christmas preps are going well. Screw what they say. Do what you've got to do. That's what I say. And I, I hope you agree and I'm sure you do. Well, Lord Frost. Let's go back in time a little bit, shall we? Boris got into power on the back of one very simple promise. Get Brexit done. He saw an opportunity, didn't he, there? There are videos going back years ago where Boris is sitting on the dockside, sipping a pint of lager, bigging up the EU and saying how wonderful they are. So if you look back in time, I, I'm not a far lefty what's it, so I'm not going to sit there going back over years and years of stuff, but they are publicly available. We know that in his heart he probably is most likely pro-EU. And he picked the side which would most likely get him to where he wanted to be. And lo and behold, it worked. He got Brexit done, in albeit name, I still think it's Brino, and got into number 10. That's where the buck stopped. We had the pandemic and everything went to hell. Now, in Boris's defence, I don't think that you had Boris there, Keir Starmer there, anyone there, we'd still have the same bloody circus that we have at the moment. But the fact is, Boris is in power. He has allies, and one of those was Lord Frost. Lord Frost was very much responsible for a lot of the negotiation with the EU, trade deals, licenses for this, licenses for that. The list is endless. Lord Frost is a proper conservative. Lord Frost wanted us away from there, he wanted us to be our own nation again, he wanted everything that all of the pro-Brexit people wanted, and that was the direction he felt that the party as a whole needed to go in and where that ship was sailing. Well, what happened? He resigned. He resigned because he doesn't like the direction of travel of the Conservative Party. It's going so far away from Conservative values where they're talking about restrictions on people's liberties. They're talking about forcing a green agenda. They're talking about other things which could almost be mistaken for socialist values. It really is a disaster waiting to happen. Now, I'm of the opinion, and I always have been, that Boris Johnson is not a true Conservative. He never was. He was somebody that wanted to get into that position he now is in. And there is an agenda, agenda at play here that everyone, the whole world, seems to be wanting to play. Uh, it's quite obvious. You can see the same narrative popping up in country after country after country. Now the question is, will other people follow Lord Frost? And he won't be drawn on that. Yes, he won't be drawn on it. And he's also saying that Boris is still the right man for the job. Well, that's debatable. The problem is whether Boris is the right man for the job or not, who will replace him? I can't see anybody lining up that's any cop, can you? It's an absolute disaster, and we're stuck with what we've got for now. I really believe that. And you look who, at the, who's replaced uh, Lord Frost, Liz Trust. I'm saying nothing. You let me know what you think in the comments below. But I think that Boris has lost probably one of the biggest allies he had there. And uh, he needs to be very careful before more follow suit. And I believe they will with the direction of travel. They're already 
can smell blood from a mile off so it wouldn't surprise me anyway that's my take on the lord frost thing let me know what you think about it all in the comments below and i'll see you in a tip with another one toodaloo